go. So we're fixing to be moving some refrigerator and stove back in on the new vinyl floor that we installed. I want to show you guys how we do it without damaging the floor. So I've got me some scrap vinyl plank here that I have left over from a job. I always keep some of these, either vinyl plank or laminate. Vinyl plank is better because it's thinner and lighter. Sometimes refrigerators can come with just a very little extra space at the top. So the vinyl plank is better because it's thinner. Come on in here, I'll show you what we're doing here. So the refrigerator is going to go right here. So I'm going to take, uh, take me a piece of vinyl plank. I'm going to lay it right there. And then I'm going to lay me a piece right there as well, okay? What we're going to do is bring the refrigerator straight in and set right dead down on these two pieces of vinyl plank. And then I'll hook up the ice maker, roll it straight back, and all the rolling and everything will be on our vinyl plank. And then once we get it back in there, we can lean it over and take it out of the front legs, okay? So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And even if, even if the uh, refrigerator has a bunch of uh, food in it or whatever like that, these four on forklifts will allow you to pick a refrigerator straight up without leaning it or anything, okay? Just that little bit of a lean right there is all you need to get your straps underneath. You good? No? Okay. So these straps right here are called forearm forklifts. Uh, you've probably seen them in other videos of mine and they are super, super uh, convenient to use, okay? They really make stuff easy to move. Pick it straight up and float right in there. this ice maker really fast. Make sure it does not leak before we push the fridge back. This is an empty refrigerator. So you might see that the sleds, that the uh, vinyl planks actually stop right here. So when the back wheels come off of that, it's going to be on the vinyl, but it's going to be way back underneath it here. If there's ever any fear of danger of ripping the vinyl because it's a really heavy refrigerator, I will go ahead and click two of these together and have a full length here. Because this is a light refrigerator, there's not going to be any danger of tearing the vinyl. So therefore I can just get the back of it I can just get it to where it's uh when the back comes off it'll be on the vinyl floor and that's going to be good enough okay okay actually they have this thing off so I'm going to leave it off and what we've got here okay I'll lean it over Jerry and you can pull your strap out Okay, so I'm going to lean it over right now. Right. Let Jerry pull his uh, four on forklift out. This is a real big must to pull up your ice maker. Come on in here, son, because that fan is going to be noisy. Just come over here. Pull up your ice maker whenever you roll the refrigerator back. If you'll notice, I'm on the vinyl plank, so it's not going to hurt anything, okay? Now that I'm back where I want to, I can drop my ice maker line. You want to keep that up until you get your fridge where you want to so you don't roll over it, pinch it, or anything like that. So now that I've got this in the hole, I'm going to lean it over. Jerry's going to pull his out, and then I'll lean it and pull mine out, okay? Voila. 
We've got the refrigerator in its hole. We don't have any damage on the vinyl floor whatsoever. Just a couple little spare vinyl planks that we have. If you don't have any vinyl planks, if you're a homeowner or something like that, by all means, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that. Get you a couple for a sample or something like that. They might charge you a couple bucks for a couple individual pieces or something. Or you can use just a scrap piece of plywood, cut it in strips like that. Strips is always better than one single piece because if you're working with one single piece, a lot of times it's going to be a little awkward and bulky to get out because then you have to pick up the whole thing rather than leaning that side to side. So it's definitely best to have two different pieces, one under each side, okay? Uh, so that's how we move appliances. We're gonna do the stove the exact same way. I'm gonna take those and set them right there in the, in the where the stove goes. So again, we'll take it, the stove goes right there. So we're gonna set these right there and we'll set them right on that. Plug the stove up, slide it back on our vinyl plane and then once we get it back in the hole, we'll lean it and pull them out just like we did a while ago, okay? So, thanks for tuning in. I hope that will help somebody moving appliances on vinyl and stuff like that. I've actually had this request to do this several times. People ask me, how do I move appliances without damaging the vinyl and stuff like that? So there you go. I hope that helps. Until next time, FBSB's out.